Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Eve here and welcome to my new video. So looky here, my dermatitis is finally getting better. I found this amazing product on Amazon. I was scrolling around. I've bought so many different things for this and I finally found something that worked. So using it two days, it's about 80% gone. I can wear it underneath makeup. It has been such a game changer, finally going away after three weeks. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I am so happy to be showing you my fall FabFitFun box. This is the my favorite box I get. I get a lot of boxes and I always look forward to getting this one. Now this one, if you just want to buy each box, it is going to be $60 each box. What I do is I pay yearly. So I pay $220 each year and you get four boxes. And the reason why I do that is because you can fully customize it. Every choice you pick, nobody picks it out for you. And that's what I like. Because when I did it per box and I paid the $60, I was usually unhappy with it. Because the things they picked out for me, I wouldn't want. I would give it away or something like that. I have a lot of friends that I'm trying to convince to do each year because they canceled the box. They said that they're unhappy with it and I completely understand. If they took that option away, I would cancel this box. I would not do the um, paying for each box because I want to customize every single item. That's what makes this box. If you don't do this, then I... I wouldn't get the box because you're not going to be happy but that is just my opinion all right let's go ahead and get to it the choice number one i picked the murad hydration i love this i'm so happy to have it again murad is really expensive so whenever i see that i usually pick it up the only time i don't is if it's like acne or something like that because i don't need that but here it is and Murad is a really, really good brand. Now, I did an additional choice. It was for the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. It's a hair strengthener, and I paid an extra $15 for it. The reason why is because I've been looking into trying this, and this is really, really marked down for only 15 bucks. So, of course, I had to pay the extra 15 for it. All right, the second choice was the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, and it's the Ease Droplet Enhancer Things, and I got Pink Pearl number one. Hopefully I like it. There's a lot of things I don't like by Fenty Beauty. Like their foundations, their primers, I'm not a fan of it. I got an eyeshadow palette and I think it was a boxy charm and it sucked major but okay I had to pause because this this just looks like a moisturizer okay so if you can see this what I think they're trying to do is use it as a primer. I thought it was going to be a highlighter. I guess it's all over glow enhancer, enhancer. This is really, really light. As you can see, look at the difference in my hand. So that is really, really light. So maybe in no makeup day, you can put this on on top of your moisturizer and some lip gloss and call it a day. I always do my mascara because I have blonde eyelashes and I look weird as shit when I don't wear it. Okay, so I did an extra choice on this one too and this is by Citrine and it's the Canyon Collection and it is two spice jars and I paid an extra $15 for this as well. And the reason why I did this is because when you're cooking, you don't want to have to wash your hands constantly before picking up jars. So I thought this would be a lot better just to have it open. I can go in, sprinkle the food, and not worry about it and not contaminate everything when you got meat juices on your hand. So 
a very rustic looking. Okay, get this box out of here. So it's very harsh over here. It's I'm not a fan of how it feels out here, but it will do its purpose. But you get two of them and it doesn't have a silicone seal, which I would have preferred, but you putting dry herbs in here or something like that or salt and pepper, it's not gonna matter too much. So that's okay. It's a little disappointing because I thought it'd be a little better quality. Okay, so the third choice was Little Huggy Hoops and it's Love AJ. It would help if I take it out of the bag. And I want something small for my second hole in my ear. So I have my major one over here and then I have one over here. And I'm sick of wearing studs so I thought these look, would look really, really cute. And I like silver or stainless steel. I'm not a fan of gold with my skin tone. So stoked about that. They look like they're really good quality. I'm not gonna waste my time putting it on. <laughs> Or waste your time. So this is the last additional choice that I did um, in this category and it is the Viga More Grow Dry Shampoo and I've been dipping my toe into dry shampoos because my new hair technique that I've been doing is washing less and using dry shampoo when you need it. I love my Amica one. That one my favorite. I love the scent. I love how well it works, but I've heard a lot of good reviews on this. A lot of people have been raving about it, so I figured I'll try it. Why just stick with one? You don't know what you're missing if you don't try more options. Okay, so the fourth choice is something I know and love. This stays put. This is the KVD Tattoo Liner. This is something that will last as I'm pouring and dripping sweat. And this is Trooper Black. Well, that was a shitty line, but that's why I picked it, because I know I love it. Okay, the next choice is by L Lujo Bar, Luju, I don't know and these are shower steamers. So you get four shower steamers and they're in the lip, a lip, I can't say this. I'm gonna try them one more time. Elliptus, I, I can't do it. I'm gonna just keep stumbling over. You know what I mean. So I like that scent, but for body wash, my skin is too sensitive. So I never can get that feeling. So when I saw the steamers, I thought this would be amazing if I'm my feet are tired and have that on the bottom with the water of me taking a shower and just relax me with the scent. Or if I have a migraine, I think this is going to be really good. The third thing is when I have my sinus, sinus issues. So my sinuses will completely close up and it is so painful. I use Vicks, but it'd be nice to take a hot shower and throw this in. So I'm really, really interested in this. And if I like it, I will definitely start buying more shower steamers. Cause I see it, but I never go and buy it. So I'm like, I don't want to get scammed. It just, I never pull the trigger. Oh, this is, this smells so freaking good and I can enjoy it now in the bath time because I don't know what it is, but my skin cannot handle body wash with that in there or bath salts. There's a lot of bath salts and I, my whole body stings. Okay, so this is the last choice and this is by... I really don't know how to read this. I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully this will focus for you. But it is a ring box. I just recently bought one, but then I saw this and this was really gorgeous. And I hope it's gorgeous in person as well. Unlike that spice jar set.
So I think it's really cute. Because I'm a person that I will take it off and I will just throw it somewhere. And I have lost so much jewelry because I don't remember where I put it. And then months will pass and sometimes I'll find it. Just, I've lost so much jewelry that I have not found yet. <laughs> All right, so they did give a free item in here, which is cool. They usually do that and I like it. So it's the Ricola Throat Balm. And I hope I won't have to use this. <laughs> My Touchland sanitizer has been a godsend. I have not gotten sick since I've gotten those things. And I absolutely love them. So I have some refills that I do. The first thing I'm going to do is the Fur Baby Bundle. I've gotten this for four boxes now. And they recently raised the price last box and I believe it was the summer box they raised the price and I was kind of battling if it was worth it or not and I was like well the treats in there they're natural they're probably expensive so this bundle is $19 and you get two bags of treats and two toys I'm gonna stop messing around with this so you can hear me so two bags of treats and two toys I have the extra large one and I'm not sure if it's worth it y'all And I'm going to explain why once I open all this up. Okay, so to me, I think since they raised the price, the toys have gotten a little bit smaller. First off, so you get a little lantern. This is really, really cute. And my favorite, look at these s'mores. That is adorable. So my Jack Russell Terrier can get a couple of weeks with these toys. My Husky will not even get a half an hour with this. He will have eaten half of it in a half an hour. So with these, I don't think it's worth it anymore because these consider these toys free because I wanted to look up if these were actually worth it. I'm so sorry for all the noise. But each one of these bags has a retail value of $9.99. So $10. So $20. And this, I'm paying $19. So what, I save a dollar and I get free toys when the toys don't really last because my Husky just tears it up. So if you have a dog that doesn't tear up toys and you can get actually some longevity with them, maybe this is worth it. But... I really think I'm going to cancel. I'm going to think a couple days on it and then make a decision. But for it just being $20 worth of treats and paying $19 and having toys that get eaten up, I'm going to go ahead and give my little husky back here, Bjorn, a treat. Come on, up. You want to say hi? Come on, up. Up. No? You're being shy today? Here you go. Okay, so the next refill that I've been getting is $8.10. And this is the Cocoa Floss Delicious Mint. And you get... I'm trying to put my foot on this footrest. <laughs> you get two um, things in here. So you get the actual product and you get a refill. So this is going to last you until your next box comes. And personally, I really like this. Is it better than the reach that my son uses? I think this is slightly better, but that is just me because I like this because it does not shred. So that is really good. I have teeth that are very close together and they shred floss. But I prefer the ones with the handles on. I'm trying to get better. I've been using it a few times, probably like five times since the last box, to be honest with you. And I'm going to keep getting it. So that one I'm going to keep getting. There's another dry shampoo I wanted to try. And this was an extra $10.80 that they do automatically each month. So that's what refills are if you don't know. They automatically put it on in your box and you don't have to worry about ordering it, catching it on a sale. So 
$10.80 for living proof dry shampoo. I've wanted to test this one out as well because I've heard people rave about this. Pretty much if you hear 50 people talk about a dry shampoo, 40 of them will be talking about that one. So I wanted to try it. Now, before I go and show you what I got in my add-on shop, I want to talk about this box and what I think of it. Do I think it's worth it? It's nice, I like it, but fall boxes are usually the best box that you can get. And I don't get it from this um, season. To be honest, because I have to be honest, when I went over and I saw that I got to pick, I looked at the choices, I got irritated, I'm like, this sucks, I don't wanna do this. I signed off, because when I get frustrated, I just need to walk away from it. So I was so disappointed that I walked away. The next day, I went back on and I went through the choices and I was like, all right, I had my little pity fit about not being 100% happy with the choices you got. There is stuff that I've already had. You don't, this doesn't scream fall to me. And usually the fall box screams fall. It gets you in the mood and this just didn't do it. Now, like I said, I am still happy with it. Am I elated? No but this is still an okay box. I can say I'm happy about it. I would have preferred it being better, but oh well, they can't all be amazing. So the thing that I got from the shop, I don't know why I'm holding two piece, <laughs> but the thing I got on the add-on shop was just one thing. I was actually good this time because I needed to curb my spending which is easier said than done, is by Kenneth J. Lane, and it's the Glamorous Hoops, and I paid $24 for them. And they looked so freaking gorgeous. I kept saying I was going to take it out. I can't really see it. Okay, I'm going to take this out and then show you. Get out! But look at this. So it has fake diamonds all the way around it. And I really like this style. I think this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. But anyways, that is everything that I got in my box and added to it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I love you so much, and I look forward to the next time. Bye, guys. Bye.